Hey guys, Jen from Bent Yoga, and today we are working on the Niyamas. So the Niyamas are the second step in this eight limb path to enlightenment or non-reactivity, which is why we come to our mats most of the time. So the second step, the Niyamas, are these rules or laws or self-disciplines on how you interact with yourself. Okay, so the first step that we did were the Yamas. That was how you interacted with other people. Now it's how you interact with yourself. So the very first niyama is called saucha. Now what saucha translates to is cleanliness or purity. And we all know that we're all human, we're not gonna be these pure souls and whatever, but what saucha teaches us is to be aware of what's happening within us and what we're putting, what we're allowing within us. So in this saucha, in this kind of cleanliness, there's a couple different areas of your life to look into. First is your diet. What are you putting into your body? Whatever you put into your body is what's gonna fuel your cells and it's gonna actually become part of your body, right? You are what you eat. <laughs> There's a lot of truth to that. So if you're constantly putting things into your body that are not nourishing or that are bad for you and harmful, then this saucha, this is teaching you to become more aware and to start to purify and care about what you're putting into your body. So your diet is a huge one. Um, another thing that this whole cleanliness is your environment. So I don't know about you, but for me, if I go into my house and it's a pigsty, it's a mess, um, there's papers all over, I haven't done bills yet, I have a really hard time focusing. I have a hard time just sitting down and getting stuff done because there's too much going on. It actually truly affects my concentration when there's stuff around you. Well, there's been studies done that clutter and basically a mess around you affects your own motivation. That if there is a nice clean house and a clean area for you to do work at, that you're more focused and more concentrated. So, Knowing that your external world affects how you're thinking and how your um, motivation level, then making sure your environment is pure or clean is also a part of this saucha because it's affecting what's going on inside of you. You're allowing this mess into your life. Another way is the obvious. Showering, wearing clean clothes to yoga, make it a clean slate when you come to your mat versus, um, you know, if there's... I don't know, a smell to your mat or a smell to your clothes or something like that. Just cleaning everything up so that when you come into the room, you have this clean slate that you're starting with. Again, no clutter, um, no smells, no dirt, stuff like that. So this saucha, there's another way that it can come in and that is through your bad habits. Let that one sink in for just a second. So if we are picking up all of these habits, if we're burning our nails and fidgeting and smoking and just all these bad habits, it's cluttering up your energy. So when you're doing all these tiny little actions that you've amassed over the years that you haven't really thought about or become aware of, been made aware about, it's actually pulling your energy away from things that can help you on this eight limb path. So this saucha asks you to visit all of those habits and to kind of figure out which ones you can let go of. Which ones is it time for you to let go of? Because that's gonna clean up, clear out a lot of your wasted energy. So it's taking stock, kind of cleaning up your personality a little bit. Now, those are a little more on the physical side. There's also the emotional cleanliness, the emotional purity. What do you allow into your life? What sorts of people do you allow into your life? What sort of treatment of yourself from others or from you do you allow into your life? So this saucha is kind of teaching us to clean it out. Anyone who hurts us, anyone who um, makes us question our self-worth, get them out. They're clutter, they're junk. They're pulling us away from our true intentions. Same with yourself. Think about how you treat yourself. All of those thoughts and those emotions that are dragging you down, they gotta go. They gotta go. So this first niyama, this saucha, is cleaning house, physically. Your emotional baggage. 
your negative thoughts. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. Because anytime you think a negative thought, what was it? One of the teachers said, if you sling mud, you're going to get your hands dirty. Or you can't sling mud without getting your hands dirty, right? So if you're negatively projecting to someone else, a little bit of it stays with you. So this saucha is, get rid of that. Don't, don't sling mud, then you won't have to deal with the consequences of it. You won't have to deal with whatever the residual is. So when you come to your mat, it's a clean slate in the yoga room. It's an uncluttered mind. And it's a place that you can set a foundation. That's what these, this whole eight limb path is, is clearing out the old to allow for this new way of life, this blissful way of life, this non-reactive way of life. And so this saucha, it's a really important one. See if maybe this week you can identify somewhere that you can clean in your life, whether it's your environment, whether it's your thoughts, your emotions, your clothes, your diet. Figure out how to bring more organic cleanliness into your life. 